Okay, we will just look shortly at the theory of the profitability measures. Okay, so that for profit, any calculations that you have to do in connection with the profit, you will get the information in your income statement. So they will always give you the sales, cost of sales, gross profit, and then they can give you the operating income. Uh, so it's, for instance, rent income or... Um, for instance, uh, discount received, commission received. Then they will give you the operating expenses and you add these operating expenses together to see what is the total operating expenses and then you calculate um, what is the profit that you made. Okay, so if we look at this income statement, remember that the interest is never included in this operating expenses. The operating expenses is the expenses that you pay for daily activities in the business. So this interest expense is deducted after you calculated the uh, operating profit. Okay, so the first one is the gross profit on sales. So this is the easiest calculations is this profitability measures because they tell you what must go at the top gross profit, what must go at the bottom sales. So I will just take that gross profit, the 62,000 divided by the 158 times 100 and that will tell me what is the profit percentage on sales. Then the gross profit on cost of sales. So gross profit is first and you put it on top of cost of sales times 100. So you will take your gross profit 62 and you divide it by the cost of sales 96. Now if you have a profit of say for instance 90% on sales price and you look at this percentage that you calculate here then and this is not 90 percent it's for instance 70 percent then it means you have to go investigate to see why is the profit lower than the 90 percent now normally this will be because you um, gave goods away or you had special promotions um, inventory that was broken in the shop so that can cause this so you must decide if you had a lot of special promotions and for instance an annual sale is it worthwhile the profit that you make because you've given such a lot of things at a cheaper price okay the third one is the operating profit on sales so remember your operating profit is the profit that you calculate before you take into account interest, income or interest expense. So that means I will take the 16,000 and I will divide it by the sales 158,000 to get it. So make sure that you know what is operating profit and what is net profit. Okay, so there the operating profit is after I took all my income and expenses, normal activities in day-to-day -day operating and the net profit is after I've taken interest into account as well. If you have to calculate the net profit on sales, it means that you will take this total profit right at the end and you divide it by the sales. So what? why do I do this calculation? To see what percentage of that total sales was actually spent on um, expenses so that I can make a profit. Now if you look at this one, the 158 minus, and you take the 9,000, then it means that an enormous amount of your total income out of sales is actually paid as expenses because you are only making the small profit. So I will have to decide then how can I increase my sales so that I can make a bigger profit so I can advertise more, I can have special offers or for instance um, I can start selling other products so that I can increase my sales or you can have a higher profit percentage. 
to see if you, by increasing the sales, can increase this net profit percentage. If the other thing that you can do is you can try and see how can you reduce the expenses so that your profit can be bigger. So the whole purpose of these ratios is to compare the profit ratio of the company with previous years to see did it improve or did it uh, decrease. To compare the profit ratio with the policy of the company, so the policy is to make a profit of 90% for instance on cost price and now we only made a profit of 60% on cost price. And to aim how I can improve this situation, what can I do to make this profit more um, satisfactory. So these calculations is not just a case of I'm calculating figures because they say I must do it. The whole purpose of these figures is every single calculation you do. You have to compare with the previous year, compare it with your competitors, compare it with the policy of the business, go into it and do research and see what went wrong, why is it not what I expected it to be, and to work out measures that I can take so that I can improve the situation in the future.